Hello everyone, it's Kanaro here, and today I'll be giving you a brief tutorial on how to reduce lag. And not to be confused with your ping, because that's solely your internet. So, I can't help you there, I'm sorry. I am focusing on frame rate loss. So, first thing you want to do is go to your video settings. Yeah, yeah, no, obviously you want to turn your settings down, blah, blah, blah. I get it. But people don't realize that in the majority of cases, there is one single culprit to making the game unplayable for you. And that's having Direct X11 enabled, which is, it's, that's, that's just, it devastates your frame rate. Like when I first started this game, the setting was default. Direct X enabled was default. And I only received about 30 frames per second per game, which is barely playable and definitely not ideal. So yeah, you want to disable that for sure. It'll give you an extra like 50 frames per second at least. And make sure after you do that, you restart your game completely. Otherwise, it won't take effect right away. So disable that and restart your game. Next big culprit to frame rate loss is your depth of field only thing I really notice that that does is makes colors more monotone like it doesn't even look better to me it, it just makes things look less vibrant so I don't understand why you would even want that turned on to be honest it kills your frame rate and it makes colors more dull it seems DirectX 11 it makes things look prettier but if it makes the game unplayable for you as far as frame rate, then it's not even worth it, trust me. Uh, next after that, you want to check your particle detail. Particle detail is the little ashes or snowflakes or whatever there's on there's on the map that falls from the sky and, and floats everywhere. They're just little particles, but they also hurt your frame rate fairly significantly, so you want to turn those medium or low. And then next, you want to look at world detail. That's a pretty obvious one. That's probably one that people automatically do from common sense. That one's also a pretty big contributor of frame rate loss, so you might want to turn that one down as well. Then there's texture quality. It doesn't really affect your frame rate a lot. I can handle it on the maximum texture quality. However, when I'm recording, I can't record with anything higher than medium. I can still play with a very high frame rate with maximum, but for some reason when I record I drop to like zero frames per second and I just continuously lock up my frames and I have no clue why. So if you record videos like me, then you might want to keep that at medium. Dynamic shadows, that just makes the shadows a lot more realistic. You can see your shadow. If that setting is disabled, you can't see your shadow or your gun shadow. Like you can see the shadow of my gun and everything on my legs. That setting being turned off would disable that. Same goes for the uh, dynamic lights. If you're walking under a building, there's a little sunroof or whatever. Those lights won't be shining or making a difference. Those make very... Oh, and also light shafts makes beams of light come from the sun. So if you're on a map and the sun keeps getting in your eyes, like uh, Vertigo for example, disable that and it won't bother you anymore. And then there's uh, fog volumes, it pretty much makes smoke, mist, or anything of that nature more realistic. And it, it hurts your frame rate fairly significantly, but not every map, map has smoke or fog, so it's not that big of an issue. Motion blur, that's definitely a fairly large culprit. Uh, as far as distortion, screen door fade, all that stuff, I'm not entirely sure, but I've, I seem to notice a difference by disabling those, but nothing truly significant. And other than that, you just want to make sure your resolution is configured to whatever your, your screen's resolution is configured to, because if it's any smaller or 
if it's any smaller then it, it might actually hurt your frame rate also playing windowed mode if you're playing windowed it might seem like it's gonna help but it doesn't trust me it, it doesn't playing full screen definitely gets you the best frame rate and if none of this seems to work for you your last ditch effort if not your first which was my first would be turning every setting to the lowest every single setting there is to the lowest and in doing so you play a few games see what your frame rate is and if it's good just uh, enable a few more settings such as uh, texture quality or whatever if it's still good enable a few more if you enable one and next thing you, you know your frame rate goes down to two you know that that one setting that you just enabled is bad and just keep doing that and keep doing that until eventually you find out what the culprits are and I already named two DirectX 11 and Depth of Field those are the two biggest frame rate droppers so hopefully this helped you out and just remember that our ideas come from you guys your requests your recommendations your questions are our inspiration and our motivation for these videos so if you have any feedback any suggestions don't be shy don't be afraid just leave a comment on the video or even send a private message and we will see what we can do so that being said please comment subscribe like or dislike and even if you do dislike please have the courtesy of telling us why you don't even have to tell us that you dislike the video just place a comment with your criticism on it and that feedback will help us improve the quality of our future videos so thanks again and good night